Hey everybody. Today we're talking about tidy data. There are lots of ways that you might record information in a spreadsheet. And while different formats might be appropriate for different applications, there's one format that's particularly convenient and common in data science applications, and that's tidy data. In order for a set to be considered tidy, it has to obey three simple principles. First of all, each row should be one and only one observation. Secondly, each column should be one and only one variable. And finally, your entire spreadsheet cons should consist of exactly one sort of observation. In this context, a variable is just something that's measured across all your experimental units, and an observation is just a collection of all variable measurements for a single experimental unit. An immediate advantage to tidy data is that if you get a new observation, like a new subject in a medical trial, the information can be easily added to your spreadsheet just by putting a new row at the bottom. Similarly, if you want to add a variable to your, vari to your data set, you just add a new column to the right of your spreadsheet. One example here would be the MT cars data set, which comes preloaded with R. In this set, each row represents a single car, and each column represents a single characteristic of each of those cars. Ideally, every tidy data set should be accompanied by a data dictionary that explains the meaning of each variable along with the units of measure. A good data dictionary should also include some metadata about the set itself, including when, how, and by whom the data was recorded. With the MT cars data set, we can see that metadata with question mark MT cars. Here's our data dictionary. And as you can see, we have descriptions of each of the variables, as well as a little bit of information about where this data came from. A second example is the diamonds data set in R's ggplot2 package. In this data set, every row represents a single round cut diamond, and every column represents a single characteristic of each of those diamonds. On the other hand, the construction data set in R's tidier package is not tidy. In this data set, there are two variables that are spread across multiple columns, the number of units and the region. Now, untidy data isn't necessarily bad. Real-world spreadsheets often use um, field-specific conventions to aid with data entry, readability, communication, to name just a few of the reasons. But if you're doing data science, you're wanting to explore relationships between variables among large numbers of observations, tidy data is often a very convenient format for both visualization and modeling. To wrap up this video, I want to mention one very common um, format for non-tidy data, and that's the contingency table. A contingency table shows counts for various combinations of categorical variables. So here's an example that I've taken from the excellent free textbook, Open Intro Statistics. It shows some summary information about 10,000 loans given to either individuals or couples that either rent, mortgage, or own their home. Notice that this um, table includes variables in both the rows and columns. Moreover, the individual cells contain another sort of information entirely, the counts. A more tidy version of this table would have three columns, the home ownership status, the application type, and the count, <laughs> like this. Now, of course, to get a truly tidy data set, we would need 10,000 rows, each um, consisting of one specific observation, in other words, one loan application. 